My family seems to think that there's something wrong with me. And what they're not realizing is that I've been on my own for a long time and having to figure out how to take care of myself. I'm having issues right now because I just left a 24-year marriage. I was with him longer than I was without him. That's a hard thing to give up. Then I gave up my animals. I'm living in an environment that's not the same. I'm living out of bags and suitcases. It would be kind of nice to have my own place, and I'm actually going to figure that out here soon because I have my real estate license still, so I could still do something with that if I wanted to. Step right up. That's okay. Uh, Bonnie, I, like I said, I'm not here to judge you, and you're entitled to get upset for a minute. I, I do want you to meet Dr. Charles Sophie to your left Hi. here. How are you? Hi. Uh, Dr. Sophie is a um, uh, board-certified uh, psychiatrist that uh, works a lot uh, with brain function, brain chemistry, neurotransmitters of the brain, um, and is really, really adept in that particular area. And Dr. Sophie, we've been talking about Bonnie's use of mushrooms. She's self-medicating. Let's back up a little bit though, okay? Because I was overdosing on the mushrooms before. But what he's telling you is you no, have the every- mushrooms, I want you to know something. Those what? mushrooms, when you microdose in a very small amount, because you don't know what people's system's gonna be like. Do you know what it does for me? It gives me an appetite for one and it makes me feel happy inside. Well, there's a downside. The downside is what it's doing to your brain. We don't really know, and it's definitely not helping anybody who potentially could have bipolar disorder. The thing is, is that I came on this because my aunt needs the mm. help. Okay. I really just wanted to come on here so that, for one, it was good for me to talk about it because I did not talk about any of that stuff, and I couldn't, before the mushrooms, I couldn't even talk. I get that, but so. how about, do you, are you opposed to slowing your brain down a little bit? No, yeah, I am. Okay. Bonnie, why did you leave before? What upsets you? Um, the way that I feel that they view me and the fact that they want me out of their house because of how manic I am, but they don't understand my life or the fact that I've been behind the scenes and doing this movie stuff for years and I just, I knew what it was before we came out. Not that you're a bad guy, I wasn't saying you're bad, because this is actually good. It helps people get through, talk through their emotions. but. I felt like you wanted to put me on blast so that way I could face the fact that I did all these horrible things, which I've already faced that. Honey, that is not why we're here. No. It's like Dr. Phil said, you have been abused enough. It's time for you to heal. That's all. I, I don't want you to move out. I'm helping people I, heal. I, that I, helps me. Why is Bonnie, it so bad for me to help other people? healing. Don't you understand that? You need to work on you. You need to not worry about guys that you meet on the internet or starting any businesses. You need to work on you. You're sick and I'm you okay. need to get I'm not better. I'm that sick and I can make it. Bonnie, I'll how go could you not then? be years and years of abuse and trauma? Why is, do I have to be sick? It's like Why a pressure cooker and the pot finally blew over. I had it snapped finally, yeah, and I finally said, no, I'm so, not gonna deal with this so no more. Are you being I'm gonna defensive? turn my life to God and do what I like to do. I'm not hurting anybody. Why is that I, so you're, hard? you're not hurting anybody and we're not judging you. Why should sex be bad to me? Because of what I've done before? because you have told me that you don't want to do that anymore. No, that you're not I don't want to do it like I did it before is what I've told you. Well, let me be clear. I'm sorry. What happens when you're seven, eight, nine, and 11 is not sex, it's rape. There's never an okay time to have sex yeah. with children. So that's what, that's what I'm you. talking about. Oh, well, it you. happened to me is in the past. It's not yeah. my present, is it? Well, I don't know. Well, it's not, honey, trust me. You deserve to be sure those things are healed in you. I think they so are. So you don't have to deal with it. And I don't you, think I should be running into a relationship. Let me tell you, I know I'm a mess. Yeah. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.